Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Leading in the Moment. Very excited today to be joined by Susan Annable. She is the Vice President of Public and Government Affairs over at Cox. Susan, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Eric. Appreciate it. All right. You know, for a long time now, the internet has been much more than a luxury. It's been a necessity for all of us. And now more than ever, um, all of us have sort of gravitated towards this digital learning platform, digital working platform. Um, what is the greatest need that you're seeing right now um, from from the community and current Cox customers? Yeah, Eric, our customers, the biggest challenge they have right now is they find themselves in a situation where you might have one or both parents working from home. You have kids in the home who are now relying on the internet to be able to stay connected to their teachers and to continue to learn. And then compounding that, you also have the myriad of internet-enabled devices that exist already in the home. So you factor all of that together and you've got an incredible amount of need going on in the home at any given time, but you have these priorities of people needing to be able to work and kids being able to learn. And so that's what we're hearing generally from our customers are the biggest challenges now that everybody's in this learn and work at home environment. Just education then? Is it understanding how sometimes the Wi-Fi can work in your house? Because you're right, I have a seven-year-old and a nine-year-old. They're trying to do Zoom uh, school, you know, and at other times we have Netflix on, we have Apple TVs going, we have iPads going. And sure enough, yeah, our internet, internet connection can be spotty and realizing that, oh, our entire neighborhood is doing this as well. Right. And the experience that people have inside the home can be equally is impacted by the number of devices that are connected at any given time or having a software upgrade going on or update going on in the middle of the afternoon when you've got a Zoom conference going on, your kid is doing a Zoom meeting with a teacher and somebody else is downloading a Netflix movie. Right. All of that compounds the situation. So it's just that awareness of understanding what are the demands on your home network. We're confident and we have been investing billions into our network to be able to sustain for just this kind of a situation. And the network is holding up really well. But there's a lot that individual customers can do inside the home to improve their, their experience. And let's talk about what you guys have been doing for the community because we've all been a part of this big shift now where especially the K through 12 system, um, schools are moving into you know, the online education part of it. And there were some, you know, some of us weren't prepared for that. Um, and a lot of low income families out there don't have access to the internet. Um, how have you guys been stepping up to help these communities, help these families who are now forced in a situation where the only way their kids are going to be able to um, uh, participate in school is to have a decent internet connection, be able to go online with their teachers? Well, we have two ways that we're trying to help solve for that problem. We have had for about six years a program that Cox has partnered up with called Connect to Compete. And that's a program that offers a low-cost internet service for low-income families that are generally families that are eligible for the free or reduced lunch program, but also families that either receive SNAP or TANF benefits or perhaps live in public housing. And that's a $9.95 a month internet service where we give them a free modem rental. We do the install for free. There is no contract. There is no um, uh, check of any kind on their ability to be uh, eligible for the program other than meeting those criteria. And what we're doing right now is we're offering that program for 60 days for free for eligible families who sign up before May 15th. And we believe that's the right thing to do. That is going to help bridge some of those families that, yes, to your point, don't have access to internet in the home. We want to get them that connection because we know that is a huge demand. The schools are calling us, families are calling us, how do I get connected? We've got this opportunity for 60 days for free for low-income families with the Connect to Compete program. Yeah, and right now we don't know how long this is going to last, but you also mentioned that even if a family doesn't have a modem, doesn't have the Wi-Fi at their house, you're providing other ways for them to connect, right? Sure. Um, another offer that we have going right now for families that may not be eligible for the Connect to Compete program, but might be seniors or might be college students or might be people who just are looking for a little extra help, but they may not qualify. It's a $19.95 per month service. It also has the first 30 days for free. And that's a program to also help get people connected that might not qualify for Connect to Compete. And additionally, we also have opened up our Wi-Fi network. We have a public Wi-Fi network throughout in our service footprint that normally people can log into and subscribe to. We've opened that up for free so that people who are not our customers today and even our Connect to Compete customers can connect when they're out and about in the community as That's well. That's big there. Like you said, if nobody, if they don't have a modem, they don't have Wi-Fi at their house, but 
chances are they have a device, they have, an, they have a phone or they have a laptop, they can use the Cox Wi-Fi at no charge to, to connect to the internet, right? Right, Eric. We, um, through research, have certainly learned that most people, even if they don't have an internet connection or a computer at home, they have a mobile device. They, most people have a phone, and so yeah. Wi-Fi is a solution. Um, not the best if you're a parent trying to help your kids uh, learn from home, but it certainly is one more thing in addition to connect to compete. Uh, one of the reasons why we brought you on too was just talk about some, as a community, you know, we are all stepping up and some of the, the, the businesses and organizations, um, some of the things that we're seeing, uh, exactly what pulls this community together. And I want to ask you about some of the things that you've done that, that you didn't, wasn't part of the plan, but you saw an opportunity and you said, okay, you know what, this is what we can do to help out. Um, certain things from helping the restaurant industry to helping the healthcare industry. Uh, tell me about some of the things that you've done just recently um, to, to, to allow Cox to step up and help us all. One of the great things is, is that, that Cox has been connected in the community for a long time. And so we have relationships with our hospitals and our healthcare providers. And we knew when our technicians got to a point with this situation where they weren't able to go into customers' homes, they normally wear the little protective shoe covers to make sure that they don't track dirt and things into the customers' homes. We had tons of those sitting around. We knew our partners at Banner Hospital needed those things, the PPE, to be able to mm -hmm. be prepared for what's coming. So we were able to donate 10,000 shoe covers to our partners at Banner Hospital so that we could help them in this time of need. Just an adjustment we made on the fly. We had something they needed, and we had it in, a, in a, an amount that um, enabled us to be able to step up in that way. With yeah, the de definitely a shortage there. Yes. And with our Cox Media partnerships, um, our Cox Media friends who uh, place advertising normally on the cable channels that people see and in the digital space online, they had the opportunity to help our local restaurants by promoting them during this time. We knew that the restaurants were struggling and trying to... I'm sorry about that. Oh, you're okay. We're in the moment. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Working from home when you have yep. an office and you have a coworker whose business line rings. <laughs> um, I'll give it a minute. So um, back to the Cox Media example, being able to donate some advertising time to our friends in the restaurant industry to help keep them going and promote them and make sure that our customers know that those restaurants are still open, they're still able to deliver, they're able to be open for takeout, and we want to make sure we support them at this time. Another part of how we're supporting the community. Free ads, is that, did I understand that right? That's what's happening? That that's correct. We have an opportunity for free ads for local restaurants. We also have partnered up with the Arizona Restaurant Association and have been promoting their campaign as well. So yes, just another example of being able to move quickly and nimbly with our inventory to try to do what's right for our friends and our partners. In the community. Well, Susan, again, I want to thank you for taking the time to join us today. Again, I know this is a fluid situation. It's changing every day and I appreciate everything you guys are doing for us. Thank you so much, Eric. We're glad to be part of it.